Hello everyone and welcome to Stock Unlock's Discounted Cash Flow Calculator, also known as the DCF Calculator. This is a very powerful valuation tool for long-term investors to help them see what the future potential stock price of a stock may actually be. This is going to be a very quick tutorial video just going through how this tool works and basically what all of these different inputs mean. So right away, the first thing that we have to do is simply type in a ticker of a stock that we want to analyze. Once we type in the stock ticker that we want to analyze, there will be six different input fields here that we need to fill out. The first one here is the metric that we actually want to track. We have book value, earnings, EBITDA, free cash flow, operating cash flow, and operating income. In the future, Stock Unlock will do our best to recommend the metrics that investors should use for every single stock, but right now this is 100% led by the user. So whichever metric you want to track for that business and calculate out for that business, you can select here. For Google, I prefer the free cash flow. So that is the metric that we are going to use in this example. The next field that we got to fill out here is the number of years that we want to project. Right now in our DCF calculator, we have three, five, and 10 years. I personally like to project out five years, but I also like to project out 10 years. However, you do just need to know that the longer you project out into the future, the more uncertain the calculation will actually be because the reality is no one really knows what's going to happen over the next 10 years. And the further we project out into the future, the more uncertainty there is going to be. So for me, I feel comfortable using five years in this DCF calculation. Now, the next field here is the metric growth rate. And right here, Stock Unlock actually tells me the annual free cash flow growth for Google over the past five years has been about 22% a year. This is basically just to show us as the user how quickly Google has been able to grow its free cash flow historically and kind of gives us a little bit of a guide as to what we can expect in the future. Personally, I actually like to be a little bit conservative with my um, calculations here. So I'm only going to say that Google is going to grow its free cash flow by 10% over the next five years. Even though Google once again has been able to grow their free cash flow at 22% over the past five years. Now, the next metric here is the shares outstanding growth rate. This is also known as dilution. So if a company is projected to dilute its shareholders or add new shares to the overall float over the next five years, then we can add in a positive value here. And if the company is actively buying back shares, then we can enter in a negative value. And right here, Stock and Lock tells me that the annual shares outstanding growth for Google over the past five years has been about negative 1%, which basically means that over the past five years, Google has been buying back about 1% of their shares on an annual basis. Now, personally, I think that Google is going to buy back about 2% of their shares annually over the next five years because the company is focusing on buying back shares right now. So that is the input that I'm going to put in here. Now, the next input is the price ratio that we are expecting the stock to trade at five years in the future. And once again, Stock and Lock tells us that the average price to free cash flow ratio for Google over the past five years was about 29.7, or essentially about 30. Now, again, I like to be conservative in my own calculations here, so I'm going to enter in a price to free cash flow of only 20 for Google in the future. That's actually well below where it has traded over the past five years. And then finally, our last input here is the discount rate. This is essentially the rate of return that we want from our investment. So I am saying that I want a discount rate, or in other words, a return rate of about 10% a year. And I know that this was all kind of confusing on what each of these different inputs and metrics means. So if you're ever confused on what all of these inputs are, you can simply go up to the top here and turn on education mode. And then all of these different question marks will pop up. And then if you ever have a question about, you know, what is shares outstanding growth rate, you can click on the question mark and stock unlock will explain it for you once again. And this works for every single question mark you see on the screen. And then if you want to turn education mode back off, you simply toggle it back off and then the question marks go away. So that's how the first section of our discounted cash flow calculator works. And then what we can do is scroll down and take a look at our result. So this right here says that the current stock price of Google is about $2,159 a share. It then tells us that the discounted fair value of Google based on our inputs is about $2,317 a share, which is about 7.3 or about 7.4% above where the stock is currently trading, which basically means that based on our inputs, Google stock is actually trading below fair value. Now, the last thing here is it tells us the projected future stock price of Google, assuming that all of our input and metrics above come true. And this says that if all those metrics and inputs do come true, 
then Google will be selling at about $3,700 a share five years into the future, or about 73% above where their shares are currently trading. And if you ever are curious about how we do our calculations and you want to see the full breakdown of the calculation, you can click this button right here, the C calculation breakdown, and we will explain every single step of the DCF calculation so that you can better understand how we come to this conclusion and also better understand how all of the inputs affect the final outcome. These steps are just really good to know and understand as well. So again, if you do want to understand how these calculations work, just click this button right here. But moving on to the last part of our DCF calculator, this is the graph at the bottom of the screen here. And this graph gives us a visual representation to the calculation that is going on in the DCF calculator. The red line right here is our discounted fair value line. And it basically shows us right here that the discounted fair value in 2027 should be about $3,733 a share. And then the red line works backwards and discounts the stock by 10% annually. And then right here, it shows us the DCF fair value today, which once again is about $2,317 a share. We can also see that the current stock price is below the DCF value, which does tell me that based on my inputs, Google is selling below fair value. The white line here represents Google's true stock price throughout history. So we can see how Google stock price has been doing and growing over the past 10 years. And then finally, this green line and this green area is Google's stock price or what Google stock price would have been at a 20 price to free cash flow, which we did input earlier. Basically, this green area right here better visualizes how often Google has actually traded at a 20 price to free cash flow. And we can really see that over the past 10 years, Google hasn't really traded at a 20 price to free cash flow. I mean, the last time Google actually did was all the way back here in 2013 when the white line was below the green area. And basically what this tells me is that Google actually has traded above a 20 price to free cash flow over the past decade, essentially. So a 20 price to free cash flow, just visually looking at this, tells me once again that this is actually a little bit more of a conservative price ratio for Google. But again, I do like to remain conservative in my own calculations. So that's kind of an example right here of how to use the discounted cash flow calculator. And I also now want to show you how some different metrics and inputs can really affect the outcome of a calculation. So in our example, we said that Google is going to buy back 2% of the shares outstanding every year. But check this out. Let's now say that Google is actually going to dilute their shareholders at 5% annually. Just changing this one metric from Google buying back shares to now diluting shares at 5% annually significantly changes the outcome. And it now says that Google is actually overvalued by about 24%. And if we scroll down now, we can see how this really affects the outcome as well. We can see that the discounted fair value for Google five years out into the future is no longer over $3,000 a share. And it's actually only about $2,600 a share. And in my opinion, this really helps visualize how dilution can kill shareholder value and really reduce returns long term as well as how a company buying back shares can really help put upward pressure on a share price over the long term. There's a lot of fun and different things that we can do with our discounted cash flow calculator, and there's a lot of different metrics and outcomes that we can calculate based on what we think the future of a company is going to be. So again, this is a very powerful tool. We're just releasing this now, and we are going to continue upgrading it over time. What Stock Unlock actually likes to do is release a feature and then allow you, our users, to play around with it and give us feedback, and then we continue improving it over time. So this is how the discounted cash flow calculator works right now, but who knows what it could look like over the next year or so. And expect consistent upgrades to this tool over time as we continue getting your guys' feedback and improving this tool with you. That's the discounted cash flow calculator, everyone. This is an awesome tool. I, as a user, cannot wait to continue using this and improving it. So thank you all so much for being a member of Stock Unlock, and we really hope that you enjoy the discounted cash flow calculator.